the mission of our program is to investigate the pathogenesis, which is the cause, the diagnosis and the treatment of musculoskeletal problems for the betterment of the horse and also for humans. I can benefit the horse and I also know that there's a huge translational component to it such that I'm not just benefiting the horse, I'm benefiting people as well. What makes us unique is we have this huge toolbox of things that we can go to here in the lab. Clinical need drives the research. I think the science is exceptional, but it still hasn't lost its touch with reality or with the clinical patient, and that's what's most important to the horse owner or to the practicing veterinarian. The ability to say, look, this doesn't work, and the ability to say, hey, this is working. People really want to hear that. That's a unique niche that this center has. So there's definitely something in the weight bearing portion. People can give an opinion on what they think, but we can give our opinion based on numbers, based on cases. That's the way you keep your credibility, and it's also the way that the horse gets the best treatment. They've gotten out in what I call the real world, uh, where, where people like myself work, and uh, they understand uh, the problems that we face. It's really practical, pragmatic, clinical-based research. It's very rewarding, and I think to see the benefits in your lifetime as opposed to after you're gone, realized is huge. I'm a physiologist, but my training was largely basic science, so I looked at just cellular mechanisms. What I lacked was the translation and understanding of what actually happens in medicine. To really understand what a clinician sees, I think you have to be around clinicians. And that's helped. It's also helped with the just excitement factor and, and making it interesting to me because I know that it's directly it's relevant instead of just something that I think might be relevant. 33. We just can't get by on saying, oh, well, this stuff works. We have to say, how does it work? What does it work good for? What doesn't it work for? And if it doesn't work for things like acupuncture, chiropractic, stretching, different physical therapy type things, then we need to get rid of them or figure out what they're good for and what they're not good for. It tells us that the shim is having some sort of a clinical effect on its back then. So certainly we're able to validate that underwater treadmill exercise is beneficial in an osteoarthritis condition. Now we need to answer the question and develop protocols. What depth of the water should they be maintained? When should they start this exercise? We're only going to do therapies that have science basis. The situations where we use stem cells are ones that we've shown they can provide a better treatment. The clinicians very carefully chose applications uh, to test stem cells. We chose cases that were unlikely to heal, yet there was evidence that the stem cells could help regenerate or repair the tissue. It, it's, it's a really important inspiration for what we do here. And it's a very nice example of how the clinical problems drive what we do in the lab to make sure we stay on the edge of the clinical translation. We just had a, a paper, a manuscript, accepted in veterinary surgery, which to my knowledge, and I'm pretty sure it's true, that's the first standing stifle arthroscopy that's ever been described. For me, it comes back to the simple process of helping the clients and helping the horses. Now that translates down into, okay, why did this horse hurt himself? You know, like these two horses that are out here now. That's why we're doing these more advanced imaging things to try to identify what exactly is the problem here. It's, well, it's a puzzle. Yeah, biomarkers is exciting but also frustrating. We've established focuses to our program. One is repair in joints. The second is early diagnosis of problems. Our third focus is looking at the causes of the various disease processes. Our fourth focus is novel therapies for joint disease. And then we added a new focus several years ago, and that was rehabilitation and physical therapies. The work that is done here in terms of prevention of injuries with uh, therapies such as stem cell research, uh, gait analysis, some of the research that goes on here is so cutting edge and so vital and important to the future of all horses and all disciplines. You can have a lot of first-rate equipment, but you need a lot of first-rate people and you need a lot of first-rate cooperation to get done what we get done, and that's definitely the success. It's not the person, it's the group. When you want answers and you want to find out what really works, 
you know, what doesn't work. This is where I go to f to find out. You know, and these animals do it for us. You know, a lot of the times they're work animals and we're they're doing it for our enjoyment, our pleasure, our needs. And so to be able to give back to them is very valuable to me.